Hello! So in the last Source video I made, I talked about measuring things, and as it turns out, I have led you astray. Not intentionally, but alas, I have made an error, and so today I have come to fix it. In the short I made about two weeks before that video, I mentioned that every hammer unit is 1.905 centimeters, or a sixteenth of an imperial foot. This number isn't completely wrong, but it depends on context. See, before that short, I was used to doing measuring in Team Fortress 2, which I mainly used when dealing with stuff like projectile speeds. And in TF2, one hammer unit is 1.905 centimeters, or exactly a sixteenth of a foot. The thing is, the real conversion of a hammer unit is, much like Source Spaghetti Code, inconsistent. Depending on the game and even the context within that game, it just changes. So, by default, a hammer unit is assumed to be exactly one inch, but this depends, again, on game and context. Since we're talking about Half-Life 2, we'll use those values. In Half-Life 2, a single hammer unit will have different measurements depending on what context is being used in. For measuring the map, it is indeed 1.905 centimeters, and so, since skyboxes use a 1 to 16 scale that makes each unit from the skybox equal to one foot instead of a sixteenth of a foot. But when measuring people or models, it changes completely. For measuring characters, all hammer units convert to 1 inch, or 2.54 centimeters, and this is the same for measuring models like props. We call the sizing for the map architectural scale, and the sizing for characters and other entities the entity scale. So while my measurements would be correct for, say, the height of the citadel, or the size of the map, or the engine cube, they are very much not correct for measuring models and characters. So allow me to fix that. Alright, so in terms of Gordon's height, since the player height is 72 hammer units tall, that makes Gordon Freeman exactly 6 feet tall, or 182.88 centimeters, according to the entity scale. And this height makes way more sense than the 4.5 foot number you get using the architectural scale. And that means no, the dwarves are not taller than Freeman. The dwarves are short. This is my boomstick! As normal models will use the entity scale, the measurements for props were wrong too. These are the props listed before, followed by their now correct measurements as they would be in real life. And that's it. I apologize for making the mistakes from before, it is entirely my fault for not catching it even after checking my work as many times as I did. As always, hopefully it was entertaining, and if any further corrections need to be made, check the pinned comment. Thanks for watching.